Hey, what's up, everybody? Time for the TRT update. If you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you can. I appreciate it. Thanks. And we'll put a picture of my body here. Someone got mad. They're like, why do you have to post a picture of your body when you're doing health videos? Well, if you would like to see more, you could always go to the OnlyFans. It's not gay to see another man's pee pee. It's only gay if you get excited. So you can go to the OnlyFans as well. Link in the description. So <laughs> obviously, um, I stopped taking the TRT and I said I was going to go to the allergist doctor. So I want to talk about what happened. So first of all, um, so good news, bad news, whatever. So again, I stopped taking the TRT right when I started because I was getting super red and my body was like burning, as you could see. Right. And um, well, my C-reactive protein was getting high. So, I mean, you can look at, you know, the past results. And then the 26, you can see I was on TRT and you can see it, it shot up. And they're like, well, let's see. Stop it for a while. Let's see what happens. So it's back down to what it was before, which would seem to show that I'm having some sort of response to it negatively. Like you shouldn't be over one, right? However, the allergist said we did the carrier oil test and we did potential carrier oil tests and they were all negative, which is good. But, you know, he was like, well, just because you're not actually legitimately allergic to it doesn't mean that something else isn't going on because you should not be red like this. Your body shouldn't be burning. And obviously we can see the C-reactive protein shows that something seemingly was going on. Now, they could not test for, apparently they don't test for it, I guess, the benzyl benzoate that is also in the testosterone and the benzyl alcohol. I forget which one he said. One of them they can't test at all. And the other one is very rare to test because it's just such a rare thing for someone to be allergic to. And like, apparently it's a hassle and you have to do like a patch test for like a few days. You can't have any water touch it. So you got to wear like a patch for a few days. You can't have any water touch it whatsoever. And then they got to send the patch somewhere else. And it takes like a week to analyze or some shit like that. And he's like, it's not a fun thing to do, apparently. But um, who knows? Maybe I, I, I should do it because he's like, well, let's see what the blood tests show. And obviously the blood tests show that my C-reactive protein is back down. So I don't know what to do. Obviously, it would seem that I was having some sort of reaction. Um, again, one of the other ingredients they just don't even test. I, I mean, the good thing is, I guess it's not the carrier oil seemingly, but I guess it still could be a carrier oil because he's like, just because you're not outright allergic to it doesn't mean you can't be having some sort of negative response to it, albeit, you know, rare or who knows, autoimmune. Well, of course, I have a lot of autoimmune stuff ever since I was dying. Um, so that's the good news. Bad news is actually it's kind of just bad news, I guess, right? I mean, because it might have been better if he could have just said exactly, okay, it's this, but I don't know. So I guess maybe the thought is maybe, um, maybe oh and of course we also talked about you know i was doing intermuscular injection so maybe i could try sub q injection to see if it goes slower to see if that does something um i also got uh again it could be you know the chances of this are one in a million i'm sure but also and i'm getting all my trt prescriptions are uh you know legitimate i know someone asked like well, are you getting legitimate TRT? Like, what, what the fuck videos are you even watching, dude? Yes, it, it's legitimate from a pharmacy. But I did get another brand of TRT that I could try. Maybe I got a bad batch. I mean, it's rare, but maybe you, I got a bad batch from the pharmacy. So switch brands. I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking that maybe... Uh, so anyway, I messaged the doctor. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'm wondering if maybe let's double check this again. Let me give myself a couple TRT doses. Check my C-reactive protein again. Anyway, I don't know. 
seemingly something is going on. Um, it is also possible that I was, of course, obviously very sick this summer. Um, actually, this was, um, I'm kind of out of breath, honestly. I actually still got kind of like a chest cold. I think I got like fucking long COVID again from when I got COVID again this summer. But um, it was only this week. This is the first week I have not had a cluster headache in like three months. Right. So that's, you know, and this was a very bad period like, um, you know, three months is, you know, not not the longest or anything of having cluster headaches, but I was having very, some of the most painful cluster headaches I've had in many, many, many years. Like, you know, I, I showed the videos. It was just constant, dude. It was terrible. So I was obviously very sick this summer and I had COVID again. But, you know, even this test, I waited for a week after covid to get tested again and obviously you're not supposed to be over one when you're on trt so i don't know do i try the trt again let me just see what's going on do i try sub q i got a different brand same ingredients you know but also besides that for um <clears throat> um health stuff i uh on a good news bad news um so, you know, when I travel, um, I have a low DHEA and, uh, it's something that I've never taken before because, um, DHEA is something that's actually considered like a legitimate, like steroid when you travel. And so it's just something I've never like, eh, well, I don't want to take, you know, it because I can't bring it to other countries unless I actually get a prescription for it. Well, my DHEA is, a, DHEA is so low now that I can actually get a prescription for it which means then I could bring it to another country. So the good news, bad news is the doctors can now give me medical DHEA, but the problem is every fucking pharmacy I have tried to get it filled out at has said we will not fill it out because it is technically an over-the-counter. And only one pharmacy that I've talked to will fill it out as a prescription i'm like well i know it's over the counter but i need the prescription because i don't want to be arrested when i travel <laughs> and they're like oh and so then one pharmacy is like oh that's what's going on so like, okay we could give you like the medical version of it and it's like well, well no shit right and then they're like oh but we cannot we have to prescribe it at a very high dose we cannot give you medical version of it unless it is a high dose why the fuck would I take the highest dose? Does that make sense? That, that like that sounds like completely retarded to me because they do have lower doses of pharmaceutical grade DHEA. And so I obviously any medicine I take, I would take, you know, the lowest possible, right? Just like over the counter DHEA, it starts at five, right? So I wanted like, well, I want a low dose so I can like break it and start low. And they're like, oh, well, that is technically a prescription, but we are not, this pharmacy is not allowed to fill out the prescription version of it unless it is a high dose. So now I don't know if I have to go to like a compounding pharmacy to get a regular dose. This is, this is the medical system of America, I, I guess. But so for the time being, I'm on over the counter DHEA. And I have not noticed any difference, to be honest with you. But maybe I'm taking such a low dose, I don't know. But anyway, that's the TRT situation. That's the body. That's, you know, this is my body, of course. I was only on TRT for whatever. I just took this yesterday. But, um, yeah, super fucking tired. I need to do something because I'm just so fucking fatigued, dude. And um, I feel like I'm probably speaking pretty low, but again, I can't believe, man, COVID again. Is this the fifth time I've had COVID? And fuck, dude. It's like, I don't know, man. This shit's never going to end, dude, I guess. Um, anyway, remember, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel. If you want to appreciate thanks, that's the TRT update.